Ever wonder why we often feel like we're playing roles in our own lives? It's not just a feeling, it's a psychological reality. Welcome to the concept of games and roles, as discussed by the brilliant Eric Byrne in his book, What Do You Say After You Say Hello? This idea forms the backbone of transactional analysis, a theory Byrne developed to understand the intricacies of human interactions and relationships. Imagine this, a family dinner, the turkeys roasted to perfection, the gravy boats making its rounds, and there's Uncle Joe playing the perpetual victim. Every comment, every jest, he perceives as a personal attack, responding with a dramatic sigh or a teary-eyed monologue. Sound familiar? These games we play are repetitive patterns of behavior, deeply ingrained, often unconscious and based on certain roles we adopt. And there's the punchline. So you see, without even realizing it, we're all actors in the theater of life. Now, let's dive into some of the most common games we play. Consider the game of yes, but picture this. Your friend, who is perpetually seeking advice, yet every solution you suggest is met with a dismissive yes, but. It's like offering a hot cup of cocoa to someone complaining of the cold, only to have them reply, yes, but I might burn my tongue. Next, let's think about if it weren't for you. It's like blaming your partner for your lack of salsa dancing skills, claiming, if it weren't for you, I'd be the next Shakira or Ricky Martin. Lastly, there's the classic, see what you made me do. Imagine a clumsy magician blaming his audience after a failed trick, saying, see what you made me do, you distracted me with your awe and wonder. Recognize any of these games? Don't worry, we're all guilty of playing them from time to time. So, we're all playing games, what's the big deal? you might ask. Well, imagine you're always the rescuer in your group of friends. You're the one who's there to pick up the pieces, to lend a sympathetic ear, to step in when things go awry. One day, you decide to take a break from this role. You sit back, grab some popcorn, and watch the drama unfold. It's a bit like watching a sitcom where the main character has suddenly disappeared. Chaos ensues, but it's also quite entertaining. This example highlights the power of awareness in understanding our own roles and the games we play. Recognizing these patterns allows us to change our behaviors, to step out of our usual roles, and to improve our interactions and relationships. It's like being handed the script to your own life and being given the chance to rewrite it. As Byrne said, the first step to change is awareness. So next time you find yourself in a game, remember, you have the power to change the script.